Hey everyone, in this video today, we're gonna to be going over air management. Now you're probably wondering, what do you mean by air management? What I mean by air management is just all those big massive air bubbles that you get under your PPF when you're doing your installation. So we got this Ford Mustang Mach-E right behind me. And as you can see, this hood is quite, quite complex with the hills and the valleys that we have and lots of air bubbles. And if you don't know how to properly manage the built up air that happens when you lay the hood on, uh, it's gonna make your installation a whole lot harder than it needs to be. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to tackle that. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so now I'm gonna do my four corner tack to get this hood tacked into place before I start my install. I already got the back of the hood tacked down. Now we're gonna come over here. We got the driver's side down. All I'm doing is using my hot water tack solution. And just getting my hot water solution underneath there, underneath the film, to tack that down. As you can see, we got no fingers across the front none or across the corners and across the front. Now we're going to start air management. As you can see, we got all this built up air in this valley. We got this built up air in the smaller valleys. So at first this could seem kind of daunting, overwhelming. I'm just going to get past you here. It can kind of seem a little bit overwhelming, but it's very simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pop the back of the film up like this. I'm gonna take both my hands. I've already got a bunch of slip solution across the top of the film. I'm gonna take my hands, both of them. I'm just gonna run them in that valley and I'm just gonna push that air out the back just like so. like that and then I'm actually gonna do the smaller valley as well too and there we go now a few places you could start you could technically start in the middle of the hood and then work your way out what I like to do on a hood like this now that I've massaged all this air out so I like to kind of break this hood down into sections so we're gonna start and we're gonna squeegee right along this top ridge over here so I'm gonna start a couple inches from the front. I'm just gonna take my squeegee, run right along that ridge. Squeegee that down and that's good. Now all this solution, because of how much tension I have across the front, pulling the solution through here is not gonna work because there's so much tension here. So I'm actually just gonna squeegee that down and then we're just gonna overlap our squeegee strokes and we're gonna bring all that solution out the back. So you can see the film starting to kind of crease up a little bit here. There, I would just massage that down with your hand and then squeegee that down. There we go. So we got that part down. Now, what we can do is we can start working on, we can start working over here towards the center of the hood. Now, as you can hear, when I was lifting that film up, the film was starting to stick. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more slip solution behind the film. I'm gonna massage this down. So the reason we have some fingers over there is because my tension, when I stretched across the back to start my install, my tension across the back and the front did not line up. 
So that's why we have some minor fingers here, but fingers be very, very easy to take care of. Okay, now coming across here to the front, all I'm gonna do, squeegee those, squeegee the front down. Now I'm actually gonna go back over here and I'm gonna start pulling my slip solution towards the back of the hood. So I still got that air to get rid of, but we'll do that when we get over to the passenger side. Because the vehicle is white, you definitely want to be very thorough with your squeegeeing because you very easily could end up leaving all kinds of moisture behind underneath the film, which you do not want. So myself personally, when I'm doing PPF install on a white vehicle, I'm always more I'm always thinking, always double up those squeegee strokes to make sure nothing is getting left behind under the film. Obviously you will have a couple small bubbles here or there, like any other installation, but you always gotta do your best to try and minimize those. So now that I've got the driver's side done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue working my way over from the driver's side to the passenger side. Okay, so now we're just gonna pull this big giant air bubble out the back. So that worked really well. And we're gonna massage these bubbles down by hand. Try and get rid of this as much as possible. There we go. Now we're gonna continue like we did on the driver's side by pulling everything out the back. Okay, now we're gonna now we're gonna take and squeegee everything else out over here. There we go. Now we have a couple little fingers over here. Those are gonna be minor. I'm not even gonna bother stretching the film to get these down. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tack solution in there. And I'm just gonna squeegee these down at an angle. And those are not gonna pop up. Okay, there we go. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the front here. And there we go. Now the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna grab a rag, I'm gonna dry the hood off, and then I'm gonna go over everything one last time. So now what I'm doing, I know this isn't part of air management, but this is just overall PPF quality control is I'm gonna look out for any kind of contamination 
that may be left underneath the hood because there's no better time than now to go under the film and get it. And I'm also gonna look for any air bubbles. And here we got one, actually. So seeing as this area was just barely tacked down, I can take the squeegee, I can come in and I can squeegee that out because the PPF has not had a chance to set itself into place. So you will not run the risk of damaging the film in any way, shape or form by doing that. And that is actually looking pretty good. So when it comes to doing hoods that have any kinds of hills and valleys and deep, deep valleys, like hood scoops, for example, I'm thinking like a GMC 2500 hood or even the GMC 1500 hoods, they're very, very complex with lots of valleys and stuff like that. You always wanna make sure that when you have your corners tacked down, you're always taking and massaging as much of the air out as possible. And you wanna get the PPF to lay down as flat as possible with just your slip solution, even, even before you start your squeegeeing. So that once you figure that out, your installs are gonna become so much easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video.